Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial about double jumps. I'm starting with a completely empty project, so let's add a character. And I'm going to choose the third person template. So now we have added some files of the third person template and let's use the game mode of the third person. Let's press play and we should have a character that can move around with a W, A, S and D key. Nice. So let's add the double jump feature. There are a lot of ways to do the same thing. So we will explore some of them in this video. Right now we can jump once and that's it. The fastest way to add a double jump would be by adding an impulse. So let's go to the blueprints, third person character, and whenever I jump, here you notice that it is jumping. We just need to check and let's drag this part here. So we have a lot more space. And we just need to check if we're in the, uh, in the air. So if the condition here is in air if you don't if you don't find it then you you just need to get it from the character movement component and it is called is falling now that i remember is falling there it is character movement and if it is falling if this is true then we just need to add an impulse To my character. We can add the impulse to the com capsule component, to the character movement. Let's use the character movement, see if that works. Or even better, I believe there's a node called, called launch. Launch character, there it is. And we just need to apply some force here. For example, it could be uh, 1000, maybe 3. And let me put here new editor window so it pops up. Let's jump once, then we jump twice, and there is my my jump. Maybe this is definitely too much. Let's try it like like that. And it is it, it is still too much. So now we, we have a double jump, right? The thing about this is that it it's adding velocity in a direction, but it gets counteracted by the other direction. If we have too much momentum going one way, we can override. This should work. Otherwise, yeah, this, this works fine. And we, we should also need to check if we're jumping more than once because otherwise we can spam the spacebar but this is a really simple way to add a double jump but if we give some time to to check this character movement component we will find that we can add the same functionality with only this component so let's disconnect this like here. And with this disconnected, we will use the same mechanics of this jump node. So we just need to reset the character movement mode because whenever we jump, this movement mode changes, changes to falling. So here, the character movement, I can set movement mode and I'm gonna set it to walking you can see that there is walking not much walking falling swimming flying custom whenever we jump we enter a falling state and we can only jump whenever we're in a walking state or in a swimming one I believe in flying this jumping would probably just make me go up and in custom it really depends on how you're handling that 
Uh, this is useful if, if you're modifying through C++ this base class and creating your custom movement modes. But let's not go <laughs> too much in depth into that right now. Let's get to it. So let's set it to walking. And now what I'm going to do is here pressed. If I'm falling, well, if it's true, then I'm going to reset the movement mode. And if it's false, then I'm just going to jump and we can get rid of this launch character. Now let's press play. And this should work the same. What, what are the benefits of this? And we don't have the other error, right? That, the one that we needed to fix with the launch. The benefits of doing this is that you're using the same velocity that you're setting up in your character movement component. Let's search jump. And you will find that you have jump velocity, braking the deceleration, air control, and more, more useful stuff that you can play around to get the, the feeling of the jump that you want. Maybe you find it too, too floaty, then you can set up the gravity here and change the jump C velocity. So if I increase this, for example, to three, 300, 3000, let's press play. And don't tell me it crashed. Oh man, there it is. I'm gonna jump once. That's a big jump. I'm falling. And if I press spacebar, I'm gonna do the same exact jump. So I don't really need to depend on a value here that changed and maybe different. Maybe I want it different. If I want to change the value of the jump, then here I could set up the jump C velocity. And then here I would reset it and here I will set it. Uh, it would be something like this. Maybe your second jump, you don't want it to be as high. So you can set it up like this. But let's not get to worry about it. Let's fix something. Right now, we can jump infinitely. And that's not good. So what we're going to do is uh, add a little counter. So let's create a variable times jump. And that, that doesn't say times, there it is. And this will be an integer. And whenever we jump, we just need to add a counter. Add to my counter. We can do it like this. That is really easy to read. Or you can do it like this, you can just twice the, the plus symbol increment int, this will be the same. So let's keep it simple like this. Times jump. Now I will debug it. I will print it to know if this is working correctly. It should, but it's good to know. One, uh, and let me, let me change it to maybe 300. One, two, yeah, so it's not resetting, right? It should reset when we land. So for landing, there is an event called on land. Maybe it's not here. Let me check. It isn't. But we can on land. We can search it. Here it is. Event on landed. And when my character lands, I want to reset this times jump. So I'm going to set it to zero. Play. And now I can jump as many times as I want. But whenever I, whenever I land, it goes back to zero. And now we just need to check also. If we're falling, then if I want to reset this. Then... I just need to, to check if 
the times jump is minor is less than uh, jump I mean if it's a double jump yeah, it should be two we can hard code it to two but let's let's call it allowed jump and I will set it to two so now play this is one I can jump again but I cannot jump more than than two times and let's let me add more jump let's search it by jump and 600 was was an okay value so it is working if I wanted three triple jump I can set it to three one two three and that's awesome now with this system we can play around with a lot of these variables inside the character comp the character movement component there is a uh, where is it now that we have seen th there is even an easier way to implement this type of double jump and if you're using a character here you, you can see a parent class character then you can go to class defaults and here you will find a jump max hold time that you can increase for example like 0 0.2 if you want to play around with holding the spacebar for example if I hold it it will be a bigger jump than if I just if I didn't right and with with how we have it work working right now this should work but for both jumps the holding time this wouldn't be possible is if we just use the launch node but we also have a jump max count so let me return this to zero and with this jump max count we can delete all this move it to another side and return it as it was So class defaults here, just put two, play, and you already have a double jump. And it will work exactly the same. So we don't have to worry too much about it. If we wanted three, then there it is, already three. And it works correctly. What I wanted to show is that it goes a long way to know the basics of each class because there are a lot of ways to implement, implement the same thing for example this one and this is useful to know if you didn't know that there was an, a landed event then now you know the video could have ended in one minute if, if I just told you oh you can go to the class defaults and in these defaults then there is a max count of the jump and there it is there you have it but it goes a long way to know different ways of doing the same thing and having to search and find which one of these ways is better suited for your game. So hopefully this video was useful and be sure to keep subscribed if you, if you want to know more about game development and all that good stuff. See you later.